Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Woltrop here. It is the Ace Match! Woo! Ace Match! Effort versus Great is what we're going to be seeing here today. And, wow. This is this is just so much so much on the line here right now. Um, more so for Effort. You know, I went into it at the end of the last game, but, again, just to say it again, uh, you know, if Effort wins, he's going to be able to take it to a Super Ace Match. Um... And they will uh, they will have a chance to win the whole series if great wins and they win this set. Khan won the other set as well, so Khan will be going on to face Oz uh, in the next round of the playoffs, and then the winner of that will face uh, SKT One for the whole caboodle. And that's how it's going to go. Um, anyway, three, two, one. Um, well, I'm, I don't think I'll need to sync this later, but um, uh, yes, it's going to be exciting. Uh, by the way, I'll say this now before watching this game, that if there is a Super Ace match, or if there isn't, I will put up something anyway, so if you saw that there's already a response to this, or you saw there's already another match that's been uploaded, it may or may not be an actual Super Ace match, so, <clears throat> so that way you can not know who's going to win this game beforehand. Um, anyway, uh, also I want to give a shout out to um, Matt and Steve SC. Um, Matt is uh, Mr. Smiley of uh, Commentator Idol fame, and Steve is Steve the Mac guy, his brother, and uh, also uh, uh, an avid StarCraft fan. Um, and he's kind of, one, I think he's one of my older StarCraft fans. I remember seeing comments from Steve the Mac guy on my videos way back, uh, pretty far back. Anyway, they are, um, uh, Mr. Smiley has been commentating for a while actually, and he's done some duels with his brother, and so they actually have started. And this isn't too recent, but they have started a um, an account together. Uh, Steve is back from uh, the military, and so they're doing dual commentaries now, a lot of them. And uh, so go and check them out. Like I said, Matt and Steve SC, and I'll try and remember to put that in the description, is their YouTube account. And uh, so go ahead and check them out. They're really cool. Really cool guys. I met them actually. Me and Diggity uh, went and had lunch with the two of them a little while back, and uh, so they're pretty cool guys. And um, so definitely go check them out. Um, yes. And anyway, getting into the game now. We've got looks like nine pool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine pool. From by the way, great is the red zer uh, at the top of the map. Uh, effort is the sort of yellow or white zerg at the bottom of the map. And um, <clears throat> looks like uh, Effort actually put down his gas a little bit earlier, I think, um, than Great did. It looks like Great um, was saving up a little bit longer, having his drone mining a little bit longer. Yeah, so um, Effort is already mining gas, and it looks as if um, Great is actually going to squeeze a drone through and get another gas expansion uh, be behind that. This is Outsider, by the way. I don't think I've actually seen a ZVZ on this map before, which is surprising since it, it I think, is a Zerg favorite map. Zergs can easily take control of the air and get those expansions on the outside. Um, they can bunker in and just get like four or five gas very easily. Um, it makes it very easy for a Zerg to win in, uh, in the long term, I guess, um, other races. But um, this is, of course, ZVZ. But anyway, so great is actually squ squeeze the drone through. He's going to try and get that expansion. It's going to be a nice uh, protected expansion for for a while, and then it's going to be a little bit more difficult for him to protect uh, once... Well, his mutas will still be able to obviously fly over um, the minerals to protect against mutalisks, but if great... Uh, sorry, if effort sneaks in some zerglings uh, through, the, through the minerals after that expansion, it'll be really difficult for him to defend against it. He'll have to make zerglings over there at that hatchery or something like that. But it is going to be a really good in ZVZ because because it is, for the most part, going to be very, very easy to defend. Um, and then he can also defend his ramp as well. You see he put Zerglings at the top of his ramp. Oh, Scouting Zergling gets picked off, um, surrounded and destroyed um, by Effort's Zerglings exploring out there. Um, Effort putting a second hatchery in his base. So he's going to have to concentrate on less positions at once. That's the advantage of having that in your base. Uh, Spire going down now. Uh, inside his base, very nice building placement there. Um, all of his buildings are going to be easy, easy to protect near each other. He's going to have it all in, in one sort of central place. And um, the advantage of that is when it, there is a Mutalisk battle, um, eventually, which I think there will be. Neither player looks seems to be going too heavy on the Zerglings um, for any kind of an early attack, which is prudent with the, the ramp. Um, when there is a Mutalisk battle, you want to have less places to focus on, because then... Uh, you can keep your Mutalisks in defense of one position
position, whereas Effort is going to be able to run up and theoretically go and attack um, that expansion, that 11 o'clock expansion with his Mulists, and then while um, Great is moving his Mutas over to defend, he'll be able to withdraw and not take any counterattack or not take any counter damage. Um, so that is why it's going to, I mean, it's a trade off. Great is going to have. Um, more area to defend, but uh, in the same vein, um, you know, he's going to have more gas theoretically because he's going to have a gas expansion there, which is going to be better for him in the long run. And uh, we see him moving his overlords back in the back corner so he can group them with uh, Mulas. He sees the creep. He's going to run away before um, Great sees that overlord so that he doesn't know that he spotted that creep and spotted that expansion, but he knows that expansion is there now uh, by spotting the edge of the creep. Um, and he's going to ma be making a fire comes in, he's going to make a lot of Milos here. Um, you saw him pop in those overlords, so he has the su supply for it. ton of Milos coming out. Looks like five, six now Mutalists, um are hatching there. And great, uh, it has his fire coming in as well. But Oh, actually, some are Scourge. He's going to go out Scourge first and try and go in there. And that's actually a pretty smart move. Um, it looks like, oh, it looks like he made five Mutas and then Scourge with the last one because the Scourge take less time to make with that later egg. So now he's going to be able to send in five Mutas and a couple Scourge very early on. I don't know if Great has the Mutals. Those Mutals are still on the way. They haven't quite popped yet. He's got some Scourge popping out. That might be able to defend for him long enough. But he's going to sacrifice Scourge on Scourge. Single Muta, no. He needed to, sac he needed to hit those Scourge on uh, efforts mutas instead and now he's in big trouble great has uh, the same amount of hatcheries he's gonna have more gas eventually but at the moment he doesn't have more a lot more gas he's gonna have to pop out mutas and effort in the meantime has more mutalists if he can keep killing off mutas and keep killing off drones yeah great can't come in to save his drones because if he does he's gonna lose his mutalists he's having each oh he sucks up a scourge he's down to three mutalists now and great is losing drones left and right to what to efforts mutalists Effort sending in Scourge to back up as well. If he can keep Great's Mutalists occupied with Scourge, then he can go to work on the drones with his own Mutalists. And that's exactly what he's doing. He's killed several drones now. Looks like five kills on that one Mutalist alone. Some Zerglings going in are not able to get up that ramp. Um, too many Zerglings on the top, and Effort is just going, is keeping his ramp occupied, and then going all in with air, and wow, and now he's just picking off Scourge as they pop, and Great left with only the drones at his expansion is in horrible shape here. Effort has taken a huge, huge advantage here. It looks as if Effort is going to defeat Great for the second time in this series, and take the win for CJ, and bring it to a super ace match. Um or a, a, an overall ace match, a final ace match, if you will. Great just has one chance left. If he can somehow fight this off. Five, no, he sucks, takes a Scourge hit. He's got less Mutas as well. Effort going to work on him. We're going to see GG anytime now. All the Mutalists go down. There's Zerglings coming in as well. Great shakes his head as he knows it. Great has GG. Great GG's. Great GG's. Effort wins. Effort has won the ace match to win the set for CJ. And it is going to go to a final ace match, ladies and gentlemen. Effort taking two games, two of the four games that CJ, I'm sorry, no, Effort, yeah, Effort taking two of the four games that CJ has won in this set to bring it to the final ace match. And that is where all the marbles will be at stake. Everything will be on the table. Both, both teams are going all in, pushing all their chips to the center and uh, letting it ride and seeing what cards come up. And that is going to be epic. And I'm going to check real quick here. That is going to be great. It's going to be on Outsider. So they're going to send Effort back in. And in place of great, it's going to be Stork. We're going to see some epic ZVP Super Ace Match action in this game, in the final game. And that is going to be just, just great. That is going to be spectacular to watch. Hope you guys can join me for it. I'm going to commentate that game despite the fact that my voice is about to fall out of my mouth. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Thanks very much for watching. Take care.